Since our start in 1995, Jamaica Cottage Shop Incorporated has grown to be a well-known manufacturer of garden buildings and storage solutions. We pride ourselves on designing and manufacturing sturdy, attractive, easy-to-assemble buildings. In this video, we're going to have our friends at the Do-It-Yourself Network show you just how simple it is to put one together. We ship the DIY Network one of our custom kits along with Joe Checo, our sales manager, to shoot an episode of their show, The Weekend Handyman. But before doing that, we'd like to introduce you to Jamaica Cottage Shop's product line. Our designs come in five categories. They are the utility model, the basic affordable no frill storage shed, the standard model, a more rugged building that includes windows and attractive overhangs. The designer models feature inspirational roof lines and electrical packages to house activities away from main living quarters. The living models are four season living spaces designed for use as an office, camp or rustic home. Lastly, we offer our specialty models. They include solutions for firewood, garbage, livestock, snowmobile and landscape accessories. You can learn a lot more about our designs at our website www.jamaicacottageshop.com. Now let's join our host Paul Ryan and our very own Joe Checo as they get this project underway. Wouldn't it be nice to have a quiet place to escape to right in your own backyard? Well, believe it or not, this stack of wood is everything you need to build a small but comfortable getaway cottage. And it comes in a kit. This kit turns into an 8 foot by 10 foot backyard retreat that can be used for a relaxing escape, a small art studio, or for the kids to hang out and have fun. Well, you may think that putting up a building is pretty tough, but the pre-cut, pre-assembled kit that we'll be featuring today makes this job doable in one weekend. Now, I'm going to give this project a three on our intermediate do-it-yourself handyman scale because even though the process is pretty straightforward, you'll be putting up a building. That means you'll need some special planning, some strength, and at least one person to help you out. Joe's going to be helping me today, and Joe and I are going to get a workout. You all set to go, Joe? Ready as I'll ever be, Paul. All right, let's talk about the tools, materials that you'll need, and some of the prep work that you need to do in advance. Now, the tools for this project, they're pretty simple. Two six to eight foot ladders to put up the walls and roof, a cordless screw gun, hammer, or if you have it, a power nailer and compressor to make the job a little easier, wood shims to level the floor, heavy work gloves to protect against the sharp edges of the steel roof, and a level. That's it. Now, even though the tools are pretty simple for a project like this, you want to make sure that your site is prepped correctly ahead of time. You want to choose a site that's nice and level and has good drainage to make sure the water flows away from the foundation. And pick a site that's close to a road because the gravel and the kit itself have to be delivered by a large truck. And also, for a project like this, even though it's a small cottage or shed, you might need a building permit, so check with your local officials. This is our site. It's all prepped and set to go. And we did the prep work about five days ago. You want to choose an area that's at least one foot larger than the building on all sides. For our 8 by 10 building, we level an area 10 by 12. Make sure it's level to within 6 inches from one end to the other. You can use a shovel to move dirt around, though you'll need a bobcat if you're on more of a slope. We then laid 4 by 6 timbers around the perimeter. These aren't necessary, but they'll give our gravel bed a more finished look. Each leg of the perimeter is longer than our 8-foot timbers, so we used a circular saw to cut the pieces we need to extend the sides. We then pre-drilled pilot holes and drove spikes to tie the timbers together. We used a 3-pound hammer for this job. After the timbers were in place, we laid landscape fabric over the entire area. This will prevent weeds from growing up, yet allow water to escape. The oversized fabric will also keep the gravel from getting all over the place. For this size area, you'll need two to three yards of pea gravel, sometimes called buckshot. We had it delivered by dump truck right to the site. The gravel will allow water to drain away from the building and prevent the foundation from rotting. You can use pea stone or river stone or crushed rock. It really doesn't matter. We then spread a layer of gravel about four inches deep using a steel rake to give the bed a nice smooth surface. You'll want to consider access to your building site. Our building site is back here in the backyard. It's about 100 feet away. And believe me, to save your back, you want to keep your site as close as possible to the road for that big truck to come in. I did the smart thing. I hired a crew to unload our material. 
while two people can usually handle most kits, this one is made with post and beam style construction with 4x6 skids and 4x4 framing. So it doesn't hurt to have a couple of extra helpers. Now, with four people, this kit was offloaded and stacked in about an hour. Many people assume that the truck driver will help them unload when the cottage arrives, but often that is not the case. Have a friend or two on hand to help you carry the parts to the site. Well, our kit's all set to go. Our bed of gravel's all laid out. And the only other thing we need is these solid concrete blocks. I have six blocks, four by eight by 16, and we'll place these on the gravel. The building then sits on top of the blocks, which keep the wood away from any surface water. Keeping a good flow of air under the building is important to prevent the wood from rotting. Let's talk about building kits and the options available. We ordered this building kit through a place called Jamaica Cottage Shop from Jamaica. Jamaica, Vermont, that is. When you're choosing a backyard retreat or garden shed, you'll find that there are a number of different roof types to choose from. Try to choose a roof style that blends in with your existing home. The most common roofs are gable, shed, gambrel, and salt box. The one we're building is a gable variation called a corner gable with a flying V roof over the porch. So if you want to save time, try and buy a kit that's been pre-cut, which means all the pieces have been cut at the factory. Some kits just send the raw materials and plans, and you have to do all the cutting yourself. If you're really handy and you have the time, you can save money by buying the plans only. They cost $25 to $50, but then you have to buy the materials and build from scratch. Well, the next step in our process is to lay all our pieces out in a logical order so when we build it, it'll be nice and easy. We've got the roof sections there, our wall sections, and the base sections. And this is the set of plans that the factory sent along. Now, this is a very unique set of plans. Not only does it have descriptions, but it's got pictures, pictures of our actual cottage being pre-assembled. This is amazing. Our building, which is made from solid hemlock and pine, costs about $4,500 plus shipping. You tend to get what you pay for. Less expensive sheds start at about $800, and they're made with sheet goods and smaller skids. Now, the skids are the heavy beams on which the shed will sit. And speaking of skids, the next step is to lay these out. We start by laying a 4x4 center skid front to back on two of the cement blocks. Then we'll lay out the two 4x6 side skids, also front to back. Before we install the base units on the skids, we want to get the skids fairly level. Using our 6-foot level, we can adjust the skids up or down, either by adding or taking gravel away. As you can see, it's some work, but it's not exactly rocket science. We'll get back to the project with Paul and Joe shortly, but first, here are your five options for purchasing any of Jamaica Cottage Shop's designs. Option number one is our fully assembled cottage. If you live in the Northeastern United States, it is possible to have your building delivered in one piece and set by our professional delivery crew. If your site is inaccessible, two choices exist. One is to fly the cottage in using a crane. The other leads us right to option number two, the ready-to-assemble kit, which is the one featured in the weekend handyman portion of this video. The kit is built at the factory, disassembled and packaged. This helps guarantee that every piece will fit into place. And as we disassemble, pictures are taken for you to use as an assembly guide. Our kits come complete with all material needed for the building, including fastening hardware and information for selecting and preparing your site, as well as foundation options. Option number three is our lumber package, which contains the raw lumber straight off the mill. It's rough hemlock framing and pine siding and trim. Rough refers to the unplaned texture of the boards. The ends are chainsaw cuts from before the log was run through the mill. The hemlock is green, just as we use it at the factory and the pine is air-dried to prevent shrinkage. We also send treated lumber and or cedar if the design calls for it, as well as roofing material, windows, hardware including hinges, latches and fasteners, and a set of plans. Option number four is our pre-cut lumber package. This package has all the framing members cut and ready for assembly. It includes rough lengths of siding, pre-cut roofing sections, pre-dimensioned trim, windows and pre-made doors. The floor system, walls, and rafters have all been cut and labeled. This kit is geared to a do-it-yourself homeowner with beginner to intermediate knowledge of carpentry. Option number five is for the true do-it-yourselfer, step-by-step plans. 
we have engineered the plans to be geared towards a backyard do-it-yourself homeowner who 